Burning Man, the popular gathering that takes place in the Nevada desert and draws thousands every year, is facing slumping ticket sales. That slump is also affecting the Bay Area economy. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns here live in studio with a look at the effect on some local retailers. Tim? Yeah, Larry, Kristen, folks at home might remember last year's Burning Man received a lot of negative press towards the end. That was because torrential rain stranded thousands of people in the middle of the desert with one person even dying. And this year, the leftover effects of that mess is impacting Bay Area businesses. After being mired in controversy last year, Burning Man is set to return next weekend. But this year, ticket sales are down, as many so-called burners appear to be staying away. One person who won't be staying away, though, is David Date, who says he's gone to every Burning Man since 2016. People came last year, and you have these expectations of going and dancing and having fun, and it was not that experience. And people, uh, you know, people, there's a certain percentage of people that will never come back after having an experience like that. Even though the event takes place in the Nevada desert, the slow ticket sales are also being felt here in the Bay Area. In San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury neighborhood, several stores that cater to burners say they're also being impacted. They can come and be part of that art by what they choose, so they won't look like anyone else out there. At Piedmont Boutique, owner Uti says she's noticed less Burning Man foot traffic than normal. That fiasco was publicized as really negative extremely negative nationwide worldwide so that may have scared off a lot of newbies a few blocks down the road at kimono dave david carr says they've seen a similar trend carr whose store is largely inspired by burning man says the event accounts for a significant portion of their overall revenue anywhere between uh, 25 and 40 percent depending on what products you have in stock and you know how well business is going Carr tells me while he attributes some of the slowdown to the bad press that surrounded last year's gathering, he also thinks there are more factors. He says the slowing economy has hit attendance at festivals around the country. Carr says with the week still to go until Burning Man kicks off, he's optimistic sales will pick up over the coming days. I mean, it would impact, you know, everything. It would mostly impact, like, what am I able to invest in moving forward? What new projects can I do? What new designs do I have ready to go? As for date, he says he couldn't be more excited for this year's burn ready to get back to the true roots of what the festival is meant to be about. Sharing in that suffering with the community and transcending it was the highlight of my burn. And this year's Burning Man is scheduled to take place from August 25th through September the 2nd. I'm in the studio, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.